Good afternoon, welcome back to the Men's Roller Derby World Cup 2016, live from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. My name's Panda. And I am Bob Noxious. Well, what an incredible few games we've just had. Um, we are going to be heading over to track one shortly, but we'll give you a quick update as to what's actually been happening. The last game that we saw on track one was Team Canada versus Team Spain. Yes. As expected, Team Canada are taking the win. Uh, 205 points would just be happy that they got any points on the board in that game. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's their first time here. And um, uh, yeah, as you and I have talked about before, uh, Spain is not a country at this point that there's a lot of world talk about. Um, so we know that the sport is in its infancy there. That's really starting to grow. And I tell you, those fellas really play pretty well. You know, when, when we see them, when they're not up against the, the, the undefeatable, um, those guys really played hard, and I thought they played pretty well. I was impressed. They're very passionate about the Roller Derby. I mean, as are all the teams, but these guys, they, they definitely wanted to make an impression when they first yes. came into the competition, and I think you could tell that from the start. Yep. Cool. Uh, let's have a look at track two. We've uh, just finished up with Belgium and the Netherlands. Belgium taking the win 170 to 30. That's Belgium's second win. They've had two losses, so out of four games. Um, pretty impressive gameplay there, I think, uh, from Belgium. Team Netherlands, uh, I think a little bit penalty heavy for some, time, some of the jammers at some point, but all in all, thought a pretty good game. Um, so, uh, yeah, it, it was really kind of a consolation game already. Uh, both teams had already been, uh, uh, were already not eligible to move on and advance. Uh, to the, to the knockout stage where we will see the teams march towards the cup. Um, their group uh, sending Australia and France, who uh, had a barn burner at 79-70, Australia winning. Yeah, that was that was a really good game. Um, so up on track one, uh, which is our nerd roller derby saw track, we are gonna have a USA versus Team Finland um coming up real soon uh, the next game in about 15 minutes time is going to be team italy versus team england we'll be back on track two for that so let's throw over to our house announcers now to uh feed announcers sorry for team usa versus team finland Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever or whenever you are. Um, welcome once again to the Roller Derby Men's World Cup here at the Alberta Sports Connection in Alberta, Canada. Yeah, hello, this is Devil's Reject. Um, here joined by my friend Snuggins. Uh, yeah, it's a pleasure being here. Snugs and I have not called a game together in two years, I think. The it's Women's yeah. Roller Derby World Cup. Yeah. So here we are. It's exciting to be here with all of you people coming into your homes. Thanks for piping us in. I think we're going to have an exciting game here between Finland and USA. Looking forward to this one. Yeah, it's, it's been a very good. We are just about ready to kick off another outstanding contest in play. 30 minutes to decide what's going to happen in the seating. Top two teams going at it here in this group. USA taking on Finland. I'm Captain Motorboater, the Derby Nerd, rolling on the mic next to me. How you doing, brother? I am doing excellent. I'm very excited about this game. As you mentioned, it is for top spot in their group. We are following red group action right now. Both teams undefeated so far at the 2016 Men's Roller Derby World Cup. So both teams going through which place will they be going through in? Both teams have done an excellent job throughout these tournament three games in this is the uh, last Yeah, we were uh, just wanted to point out that we've got our in-house announcers play. announcing the uh, we'll starting the five for each team. Still got those through our headsets. We got Steven Carter, the streak. All right, on the jam line to start us off now, we have got Carter for Team USA up against Casey for Team Finland. Team USA there skating in the white jerseys with the blue numbers. 
Team Finland skating there for the blue jerseys with the white numbers. Not to confuse anyone at home, of Not course. At all. I would like to apologize in advance for any Finnish names that I get wrong. I'm very sorry. Correct. So Carter there, also known as Rolamite, off with first pass lead jammer position for Team USA. Carter Force there on the outside, having a Team Finland having a bit of a struggle there, trying to get past that wall of white in the front of the pack. Carter on the outside line tries to make another pass, is forced out as well. I do believe as I look at a sea of white helmets, uh, yeah, Kaiski um, had stashed the star, incurs a cut the track penalty, will spend 30 seconds in the penalty box, meaning that USA are now in a roller derby athletic sponsored power jam. Yeah, great track awareness there from Casey. Just almost past the point of no return. He realized he had gotten a penalty, hopped right in the penalty box. Good time save there for Team Finland. Carter calling out the jam. It was a seven point jam for Team USA. We're gonna have ourselves an action replay. Looks like it's gonna be that initial pass that Carter made. Oh no, it's, it's Kaiski coming along that inside line. Just the tiniest slip of a cut on that turn two, but a cut is a cut is a cut. That's right, every little bit counts. Okay, next up to jam on this power start for Team USA is Jonathan R, and he is through, he has lead, and I'm fairly sorry, I saw, I saw some thumbs. <laughs> if it's Jonathan R, odds are that will happen. Two mm. thumbs up is the name of the game for Jonathan R. Both these teams here played back-to-back -back already once today. Obviously, both defeating their opponents. Kaiski back on track, incurs a low block penalty and head back to the box. Jonathan R now going to enjoy himself a roller down the athletic sponsored power jam for Team USA. Quadzilla going in, aggressively breaking up the finish wall, making plenty of spells for, space for Jonathan R to come through for that Grand Slam pass. Both teams working with some pretty deep rosters, which is a good sign for the skaters on the bench. Hopefully everybody will be well rested, we'll, which will make for a good game out here on the track. Warm legs, well rested teams always makes for a good derby match. Looks like we're gonna have another replay here for you. And there it is, Jonathan R trying to go on the outside, then take it straight up the middle. Out Juke in the competition makes it through for another pass. It was a nice apex jump there for Kaski and Team yeah. Finland. Just just trailed that foot as he landed, which took out the uh, one of the USA blockers. Yeah, so because we've seen quite a bit, a, quite a few apex jumps mm. here so far this weekend, which has gotten some people into penalty trouble. Some people very well execute it. Little pile up there on turn one, but it is Magnum jamming for Team USA. Manages to fight off the finished defense to pick up lead. Kaiski back on track, yet to incur a penalty, drops the shoulder around the outside, but does get taken off. Meanwhile, number 42, Captain Blockius with a huge hit on Magnum, taking him off on the outside. Just off your screen here, Kaiski is getting recycled all the way back into turn three by Thornton and Beestang. It's looking like he stashed that start. No idea if he's gonna go for the stash or the pass. Number one, Sven heading to the penalty box. One less blocker for Magnum to contend with. That was Kaysky's third jam to start off three out of three so far. They've decided to put Tervonen back in now, this time for Team Finland. He's gonna be skating against Brian O'Neill for Team USA. Completed pack on both sides, three blockers apiece for both Finland and USA. O'Neill there, careful, careful not to get the track cut, <laughs> straddles the line, hops right back, recycles himself, if you will. Fights hard against that team of Finland up there, number 99, pushing hard in the blue. That is Toivonen. Meanwhile, O'Neill getting really low, making his way basically through the center of the pack almost kind of between a blocker's legs, mm -hmm. um, emerging through the pack, picking up lead. Nagler now through on his five point grand slam pass for Team USA, bring their points up to 35. 
Emil again with the drop on the outside, picking up another Grand Slam. Tavernin facing some seriously difficult opposition and picking up a cutting track penalty for his troubles. Power Jam territory for USA. Good chance for Emil to capitalize on this. He is a very fast skater. It doesn't take him much time to make his way around the track. Reapproaching the pack, breaks up that wall, makes it through and calls it off. Tavona only stands in that penalty box for 10, maybe 15 seconds, meaning USA are gonna start this on another power jam start. A little bit of action replay. Sorry, you see Trevon in there pushed out by Woodward, forced to recycle as O'Neill picks up another five points. A nice 25 point pass for Brian O'Neill. Now on the line on the Roller Derby Athletics power start, that is Carter skating for Team USA. Six minutes gone of this 30 minute game. USA already on 50 points. Don't forget, folks, with these 30-minute uh, group games, only five penalties for a foul that we've seen quite a few so far this weekend. Good hit out there on Carter. I believe that was Captain Blavius. But he's able to make it through for lead jammer status, Team USA. Finland regrouping in an interesting straight wall brace out there. A low block call is going to send one skater to the penalty box. That is number 42, Captain Blockovius. Um, I do believe the uh, penalty had been called on him considerably earlier. I think he's picked up a second in subordination mm. for not leaving the track. I think we've seen that quite a bit here today. I, I, I wonder how much of the um, language barrier has been a bit of a concern for some of these skaters, you know, not knowing if their number or their name or whatever it is is being called. Because I've seen a few of them get some misconduct calls for yes. not getting the box on time. Yeah, I, th I think it, even if the language isn't as much of an issue the the, the noise that we've got in-house from yeah. our from our yeah. spectators and um, they're they're ramping it up for their teams um, but it's obviously going to make things just a little bit more difficult for the skaters to hear things that is correct as we come off of this seating we are starting to see more and more fans in the crowd many of them a fan of carter now picking up another five points for team usa and calling out the jam again another 20 point jam for team usa that jam running for the full two that jam brought to us by S1 Helmets. Uh, the S1 Lifer Helmet is the best fitting and safest helmet for roller derby. Get a Lifer, be a Lifer, S1Helmets.com. Noted earlier as well, S1 have uh, sponsored a lot of teams that we've got here this weekend, um, and it's brilliant having them on board, keeping everyone incredibly safe. That is true. Starting to see a lot less hockey helmets than mm. I think we've seen in the past. A lot of people's going back to the S1s. Um, skating now in the lead is Jonathan R for Team USA. Looks like he may have an S1 under his star cover there. <laughs> and he makes his way through the pack on another five point grand slam for Team USA. And that was number 55. I'm gonna have to ask for your help with this one. Tapo Jarvi. Thank you. <laughs> um, did manage to make through, make his initial, uh, much to the pleasure of the crowd. He did, we may be seeing a replay here on the inside line. There he goes, yep. slips right past Quadzilla, and he is off. That, that is no mean feat. Number 19, Pura Puro, jamming for Finland. However, that is gonna be Magnum for Team USA, picking up the lead jammer status. There we see Kyle Divers headed to the penalty box on that whistle for Team USA. That's going to put USA one blocker down. And a forearm call looks like is being assessed to Team Finland's jammer as well. Starting to wonder if maybe somebody had uh, popped out to Walmart and picked up a job lot of uh, power jams for Team USA. <laughs> Another finish blocker heading to the box now. Two fins on track. Uh, back block penalty being assessed to Sven. Right. We appreciate Sven with a four-letter name that we can. Thank you. Do some, <laughs> do some work with out there. We've got our own Sven this weekend. <laughs> we as well. do. We do. 
There, Magnum slips past that last Finland skater and calls off the jam, a 15-point jam. This, oh no, excuse me, a 20-point jam again for Team USA. Now we've got O'Neill taking the track for Team USA on that roller derby athletics power start. Turapuro still in the penalty box to start off this jam. O'Neill takes it up the inside, slips past the competition, makes his way around the track. Lead jammer status, Team USA. Direction of gameplay call sends one of the Finland skaters off the track. That is Toy Bonin, allowing O'Neill the opportunity to make his way through the pack. Two finished blockers up from O'Neill, making super quick work of that. Tour Pro now back on the track, fighting hard against um, M. Tram. Malcolm Tram out there skating for Team USA. Tour Pro trying to take it straight up the center. There's a multiplayer call on Quadzilla. He'll head to the penalty box for Team USA. Turpro now recycled by TJ Binkley. And we see a back block call on O'Neill, putting him in the penalty box. First jammer penalty for Brian O'Neill. And this does mean that uh, Team Finland are now enjoying themselves their very first power jam. Roller Derby Athletic sponsored power jam for Team Finland. Can this be the opportunity for them to put some points on the board and make a mark in this game? Yes, it can. There it is. Yes, it can. And because I've always wanted to say it, and the crowd goes wild. <laughs> we hope that you can see from the cameras that this, this part of the stadium is absolutely packed. It is a packed house here. Excited to see the underdog team Finland play. Lots of fans out here cheering for Finland. We've got a forearm call now on Finland's jammer after he picked up those five points. Jammer switcheroo in progress with O'Neill back on track. Finland absolutely elated. Uh, we, we hear it from where we are in house um, on turn three. We've just had a couple of Finnish skaters leaving the track. We've got some spectators along that side and there's been thumbs up and waving and uh, much, much rejoicing. Earlier today we saw Finland or excuse me, we saw Ireland score seven points on Team USA. Yes. So Finland, I'm sure, is excited to break that record. They're going to do it here today. Coming up now again, I believe that is Carter jamming for Team USA, trying to take it straight up the middle. Team Finland really zipping it up and making things very difficult for him. Direction of gameplay call. We're going to see some captain block VS again back to the penalty box for Team Finland. Mika Kartunen out there jamming for Finland. Stuck behind that wall of white, barely making it past turn two on the track as Carter picks up lead jammer status for Team USA. Finland starting to get into this a little bit more, managing to hold Carter back for nearly 25 seconds at the start of that jam, uh, which was a power start for USA as well. That's a massive achievement for the Finnish team. Absolutely, you definitely want to do what you can to buy your jammer time to get out of the penalty box. So every second they're able to hold him back is a second that is successful. Yeah, Imalasti being uh, assessed a cut track penalty means that we have two finished blockers on the track. Jam has been called. Let's take another look at that. Carter really having to work to get around the hips of those blockers, going in for another hit, making him really sing for his supper. <laughs> Carter, we saw do a great job last night as well against Team Scotland. He is actually one of my favorite skaters to watch, yeah. I think, in, in the world of roller derby. And now we have a team timeout. Let's get a quick word from our sponsors. S1. 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 S1 is part of my uniform.
clear path through the pack almost never exists. So we fight and make our own. And we are back. Thank you very much to one of our sponsors this weekend, Sisu. Uh, brilliant mouth guards. They're also sponsoring our second track. Um, if you should want to leave us, why? Well, I don't know why you would, but <laughs> right now over on the Sisu track, we have, I do you believe that's going to be Italy v England. Mm. I think it's going to be quite an interesting game, but I am thoroughly enjoying Finland v USA right here, right now on the Nerd Skate Shop track. That's right, about to enjoy it too as Kaski skating for Finland, Jonathan R for Team USA. Jonathan R with a quick push to the inside, forced out of bounds. The track is doing a lot of movement, it's just not much forward yes. movement yes. up there on the track. Um, some absolutely brilliant bla backwards blocking from number 37, Samu Kol Kolmanen. Um, really having a lot of control over Jonathan R at the start of that jam. And as I say that, Jonathan makes his way through the pack virtually untouched for a Grand Slam pass. Jonathan R with some tidy sort of hockey stops, um, really controlling his movement and limiting the impact that the finished blockers can have on him. Wow. Some beautiful control from Finland's jammer. Uh, a real kind of angled stance as he came out there on turn four at uh, single foot almost kind of horizontal well diagonal yeah see we may we be able to look. see it again here as he comes up that straight away towards the uh the jammer line wow nice. very nice why use all eight wheels when you only need four right exactly or maybe two he may have only used Economic. two at that point Fresh jam is on number 24, Essa Tavonen back into jam for Finland. But that is going to be number seven, Magnum, up for Team USA. He is your lead jammer. We've had ourselves a star pass. Mika Kartunen, your active jammer for Team Finland, overtaking Magnum and forcing that call. Here, another instant replay. You see that star pass coming off the helmet of the Finland jammer, looking for his opportunity to get it to his teammate. That was so smooth. I, I knew watching the replay, I knew it was coming. I was looking for the exchange, and I, I still didn't see it happen. O'Neill now back on the track up against Saku Tapu Jarvi. A real sort of scrum style start to the pack, really tight. O'Neill pushing hard against that tight wall of Finland skaters up the front. Same happening back in the back. Finland takes a bit of a spill. That's going to be a penalty call and a low block, allowing O'Neill the opportunity to get through for lead jammer status. Tabo Jarvi still stuck behind his teammates, trying to give him a bit of an assist through the pack if they can. He's stuck behind Quadzilla there. Meanwhile, O'Neill has already ducked and weaved his way through the pack again, virtually untouched. Uh, that the Finnish blockers at the time were trying to find some space for the jammer to get through. And again. Yeah, absolutely, Snugs. If you see, if you watch O'Neill next time he approaches the pack, watch his feet. His feet and his hips are everywhere that the skaters just really can't determine which line he's going to take. It's really hard to block yeah. someone when you don't know where they're going. <laughs> Now out for a track up call, as you see there on your screen, Tapa Jarvi is going to head to the penalty box for Team Finland, making this another Roller Derby Athletics Power Jam 4, Team USA. It's been another Grand Slam pass for O'Neill. I'm now trying to watch the feet and the hips. <laughs> currently sitting six to one on power jams and that is absolutely displayed by the score 10 minutes and 20 seconds remaining of this game five points to finland 158 to team usa that last uh, jam a 25 point jam for O'Neill. 
Yep. If you all are enjoying what you see and you weren't able to make it here to Calgary, why not host your own Roller Derby Men's World Cup here? Um, details are in programs and on our website. Try to sign up to host the 2018 Men's Roller Derby World Cup. Meanwhile, back on track, we do have, I believe that's Carter picked up lead for Team USA. That last jam getting called with uh, Finland's jam is still in the penalty box. So this is a uh, Roller Derby Athletic Sponsor Power Jam, which has, as I say it, now ended. <laughs> Tabo Jarvi right out of the penalty box. Carter going with him a little head to head as he approaches the pack. Tabo Jarvi stuck in the back. Carter trying to get past that last Finland skater, number one, Sven. He is forced to the inside. He will have to recycle out there on the track. Kalpajarvi there, hoping not to get the track cut, but is sent off on a forearm call. Instead, he will go take some time in the penalty box. Again, another Roller Derby Athletics Power Jam for Team USA. USA having a, a goat at the back of the pack, uh, number one Sven. So there's a three wall up front uh, doing some effective blocking against Carter. They've, they've forced the call. He just, they, they had pretty much the whole track covered, and it was, let's put a, fresh, put a fresh set of legs on, I'm done. A little bit of the action replay. Yeah, we see Kyle Divers there with that force out on Cartoon and allowing Carter some leeway out there on the track. Both these teams, you can tell, very strong blocker defense is able to force out jammers and other skaters just as they need to. Jonathan are there with the lead, but quick follow through there from Finland. Huge hit there. Yeah, that was Jay Woodward. Looks like we may have a skater down on the track. Doesn't look like he's doing so hot. We may have to call that one. So we're just going to have a brief word from one of our sponsors. Now, folks, we are still uh, taking a bit of a break with that injured skater. And um, of course, full contact sport, we understand there are risks, which is why we always have medics on site and we do appreciate them being with us. Um, but we want to talk to you a little bit about some other stuff we've got going on this weekend. If you recall the first Men's Roller Derby World Cup back in 2014, hosted in Birmingham, England, uh, we had an all-star team uh, selected by the announcers mm. across the weekend, uh, skaters from each team that we thought really stood out. Um, and we're giving you the opportunity to select one of our most valuable players this weekend. So it's the Quad Skate Shop Team of the Tournament. We're letting you choose one of our MVPs. This year's Quad Skate Shop Team of the Tournament will now include a fan favorite award as chosen by you. So be sure to check out our Facebook page during Saturday's play to vote for your favorite. So we're, we're, we're all talking together and we're, we're observing and we're watching in an absolutely non-creepy fashion. Um, and we're, we're making our selections, we're discussing it between ourselves. And uh, the, the teams, it looks like we're gonna have a tough decision on our hand because there's some really strong players emerging, blocking and jamming from, from all the teams. Yes, I couldn't agree more. It's, it's been amazing to watch just the different styles of play and the different kind of techniques. Like you said, you know, this is just the second time we've had this tournament. So watching everyone play together and evolve as a team and as different teams and seeing what, you know, say um, Team England learned from Team USA last year or what France learned from Italy, you know, just watching all of these teams learn different things and watching it grow and evolve as a sport. And MRDA, you know, is quite a bit younger than yes. WFTDA. So men's derby is definitely a different beast. Those of you at home watching know that yeah. that's true. I imagine you're not watching a man's game, man's roller derby game without watching a, a women's roller derby game at some point in your life. If you are, that's great. Um, it's, it's good to have a selection. So there, as we see the crowd cheering, we are going to see um, that down skater. That was Kola, Kola Manen, Samu Kola Manen, number 37 for Team Finland. 
Looks like he took a, a hit to the knee there as the medics are trying to assist him, but I do believe he's going to be okay. I always hate seeing a skater go down, no matter what the reason is. You know, yes. even a broken fingernail, it's it's never good. Good news about Canada, though, freak healthcare. That's yes, always a perk. Very true. So, <laughs> you're into that. I was talking to a friend that's here earlier. He couldn't. His wife couldn't be. Is actually Team USA's coach. Um, short bus. His wife couldn't be here because she's at home with child. Right. And so I was like, you should just have her come and then have the baby be yeah, born yeah. in Canada and save all kinds of money. But <laughs> her doctor would not go for that. So if you're watching at home, Annie Mall, we miss you. That indeed we do. <laughs> so it looks like we're going to get back on with the action now. Um, so that we're being dealt with by our fantastic in-house medics. Um, just to give you a quick recap, just over four minutes remaining on the clock. Uh, five, five points, Team Finland. USA, 175. And dare I say it, an empty penalty box. Yeah, which is good news. Hot off that start line. We've got Magnum up against number 19 for Finland, Turapuro. Magnum taking a little hit there, uh, sliding a knee through the pack. Nice drive from beautiful. Yeah, Captain Blockby has really been the blocker to watch for Team Finland here today. He's laying a lot of good hits on these Team USA skaters. I'll tell you what, uh, Captain Blockby is a skater that sticks in my mind for a number of reasons that I'll get to in just a moment. Number 19, Toroburo heading to the penalty box for a forearm penalty, meaning Team USA are on a power jam. Roll Derby Athletic sponsored power jam. Um, but Captain Blockfius, uh, I recall from the last Men's World Cup, um, I also recall seeing him for um, a small, uh, obviously not the national Finnish team, um, a, a local Finnish team um, at the Men's European Roller Derby Cup back in Birmingham in 2013. Mm -hmm. um, he's, as you say, one to watch. He's definitely one, he's, he's built and he's improved and he's looking incredibly strong this year. A little bit of replay. I think it's gonna be that hit that we mentioned earlier. There it is, Captain Blocky wow. is just not giving up. Making that hit happen. Like we said earlier, every second counts. So every second you can slow that opposing jammer down helps buy your team some time yeah. to get some score on the board. And every moment you can slow that jammer down is a moment they're not scoring points. Right. And a low block call Ooh. looks like it's gonna send O'Neill his second penalty now of the game. I believe he's the only Team USA jammer to end up in the penalty box so far I today. I think you might be right. So this right now is a Roller Derby Athletic sponsored power jam in favor of Finland. Well, look, it's uh, Toroporo obviously uh, exiting the box from the previous jam. It's been taken off and set back round past turn two. And he's going at that wall once again. Woodward and Quadzilla there trying to slow Toroporo down. He's getting a little help from his teammate tries to take that inside line. You hear a whistle. It's a multiplayer call on a Finland skater. That is number 808 hijinks. O'Neill back on track. Kurapura still trying to make some headway. Thornton heading to the box for a clockwise block. Means there's one less USA jammer for Kurapura to try and get through. Joy Bone in there following through with O'Neill. Unfortunately, he went down as well. O'Neill able to make it through. Now we're going to see a track cut call on Thornton back to the penalty box. A bit of a revolving door there in the last few seconds of play. Now a track cut call, Snuggins for Team Finland. If I'm not mistaken, before he uh, incurred that cut, I think Torapuro was trying to action a star pass. Um, which now he definitely won't be able to do uh, with his pivot car heading to the penalty box. Right, that is cartooning now in the penalty box. I'm glad you were able to follow along. I've lost the star there for a second. <laughs> well, Tonoporov removed the star um, and it looked like he was going for a pass. He got knocked off onto the inside, correctly didn't complete that pass knowing that he was out of bounds. Um, but I think he kind of possibly lost his footing and it was one of those sort of quote accidental cuts where you're already in motion and you just mm. can't stop the momentum 
Yeah, as we see on the track there, Finland not very happy with that call, but O'Neill was called off eventually. Just took a little bit for the ref to make that decision. Now we're back to what is our last jam of the game. We've got Carter fielded for Team USA. Also, it looks like that last cut track uh, saw Toropuro fouling out. So we will have fresh jammer on track, having served the rest of that penalty for him. Um, and that is in the shape of number 93, Kaiski. Sven taking one last trip to the penalty box for Team Finland as Carter rounds round two, turn two. See some nice footwork out there by Beestang, able to stay upright and inbounds just using his toe stops. It's always amazing how strong these skaters are when you see them do something like that on the track. Kaski now recycled behind that wall of white. Carter approaching the back of the pack. Carter slipping through, making his own line out there for Team USA. Putting up his final five point Grand Slam pass for the men in white. Let's have one quick recap here. There it is, Team USA walled up. Carter, oh, one hand. <laughs> Man, he, I've seen him do that about four times already this yeah. weekend. Just that one hand. Thank goodness for those wrist guards. He was able to stay in it. Now we're gonna see the fans taking the track. It's so beautiful, Snuggins, to see the fans, just that yeah. you saw just now. So we had Team Mexico, we had Team Finland, we have Team USA, everybody lined up on this track to congratulate these skaters. What an exciting, fun game. I know the scoreboard doesn't necessarily reflect that, but I am almost positive that Finland had a blast out there on the track. Absolutely, I mean, I've, I've spoken to a couple of guys from, uh, from teams who have had fa fairly large losses, um, but they've said that as, as difficult and as hard as those games were, they thoroughly enjoyed themselves and they've learned so much as well. Uh, yeah, we, we how can, could you not? We can confirm your official final score here. Finland, five points. USA, 234 points. So just some stats to follow up on the game. We had nine of two power jams. USA picking up the most power jams in the game. Now remember, the two power jams that Team Finland got were when Brian O'Neill went to the penalty box those two times. Yeah. Team USA, incredibly clean game. O'Neill, the only jammer to go to the penalty box there for Team USA in that entire game. Oh, Finland as well. Interesting jammer rotation due to a couple of penalties. Um, we had Kaski in about three different times. We had uh, Tura Puro in about three times in a row. Papo Jarvi in three times in a row. It was kind of crazy how those jammers kind of took a licking there yeah. due to penalties. They had to stay in multiple jams in a row. Yeah, I mean, uh, Kaiski started our first three jams due to those penalties, but kept on going. Yeah, the, the five points that Finland scored was by Turapuro, so good on him. He will be Finland's MVP jammer for this game. Coming up next on this track, we've got Japan versus Scotland. When we get back to you, we'll have some results for Italy versus England happening over on the other track. And then you'll see Argentina versus Sweden. And then that'll wrap up our 30-minute seeded games Crazy. for the day. Then we'll be back to good old-fashioned roller derby, hour-long, knock your socks off. Let's go for it, roller derby. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm incredibly looking forward to uh, Scotland, Japan. Uh, both of them have had a bit of a rocky start. Mm -hmm. They've had some very difficult games. Uh, but Scotland picking up their first win against Ireland yesterday. I know they're going to be absolutely pumped from that. Um, Japan, although picking up a zero score against USA yesterday, um, it looked like they had an incredible game. Um, it was my first opportunity to see them and making mental comparisons to their 2014 um, World Cup tour. Wow. I think we can easily say Team Japan, though, making a mark on society as a yes. whole for the men's roller derby world absolutely. cup both the men's and the women's team has yes. absolutely been fan favorites they're just some of the nicest skaters that you'll ever see um and man they they will take a beating and then they'll go shake your hand directly after they're yeah. just some of the greatest yeah. skaters ever and they'll so, thank you for it yeah <laughs> <laughs> excellent well i have been rev devil's rejects i have been snoogans and we are gonna head to a break and then we'll catch you back here for the next game thanks very much folks hope you enjoyed it bye-bye
walk the walk, then I can jam the track. Quads on the floor, stars on the head. Roller to be locked with the zebra sled. Yeah, we roll it, yeah, we rap it for real. Can't feel the back heels underneath my heels. Thumb through my spine, penetrating the heart. Call it up the jam till the next jam starts. My boat broke to a car. We really miss the feeling of spontaneously visiting a store and trying out the newest gear. Hang out for all roller skaters. Everyone has their own unique style. Because of our large assortment, we can now personalise roller skates while you wait, so you can try them out right away. Our mission is to fit you with the right gear, and don't forget to turn left. Hey, this is Dan from S1 Helmets. We're in the testing lab today, testing helmets to see if they pass the multiple impact certification test. We're going to be testing three helmets today. A soft foam helmet with EVA foam and a terry cloth liner. The hockey helmet with triple density EVA foam. The S1 Lifer helmet with EPS fusion foam. All three of these helmets are marketed as multiple impact helmets. We're gonna test all of them today and see which ones actually pass the test. The multiple impact test is when we drop a helmet to achieve a velocity of 4.57 meters per second. This simulates a 10 mile an hour impact or a four foot drop. The same helmet is tested three times in the same location. The helmet must reduce the energy pulse to under 300 Gs each time. Anything over 300 Gs can result in a traumatic brain injury or a severe concussion. In summary, the soft foam helmet with EVA foam and the hockey helmet with triple density foam did not pass the multiple impact test. The S1 Lifer helmet with EPS fusion foam did pass the multiple impact test.